dreams. Didn't we all start with that one dream? Many aspirations, some infeasible to redeem. We started on bare grounds and soon we were faced with mountains. When we got to the foot of the mountain, some couldn't climb up. Many fell. Through the sleepless nights, heartbreaks, and even hunger, giving up was an easy option, but we had a dream. Dream Chakan remained our focus, and finally today, we emerged victorious. The wait is over. No more photocopies, timetables, and mashing. Into the world, we go. With more dreams ready to make history. Throwing our cups high with the hope of great adventures to come. For while many slept, we crawled. While they crawled, we stood. They began to stand, but now we are the standard. We made it, friend. So join me as I graduate, you graduate, we graduate. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Governing Council, it is my pleasure to welcome you, our distinguished graduates, parents, alumni, stakeholders, and the general public to the 56th Congregation Ceremony of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. We have gathered here in this virtual space to crown and celebrate the academic achievements of our distinguished graduates. Shall we please now stand by for the national anthem of the Republic of Ghana? I now invite the Protestant chaplain of KNUST, Reverend Dr. J. W. A. Champon, to say the opening prayer. Our Heavenly Father, 
We give you praise. We adore you and we bless your mighty name. We thank you for how far you have brought us because it is in you we live, move, and have our being. I want to thank you for the life of our great and noble university, the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. We thank you for how far you have brought this institution. We thank you for 70 years of service and existence as an academic institution, forming people to go and serve humanity. We give you praise and adoration, O oh God, for this 56th graduation ceremony. Thank you for the life of these students, whom by your grace and your mercy, you've taken care of them and catered for them throughout their journey of education. We bless your name for all those who have contributed in many ways to bring them this far. Even as we commend this graduation program, we pray, O oh God, that your presence will be with us to guide and direct all facilitators to be with our graduates and ensure that we have a successful program and ceremony to the glory of your name. Thank you that you hear us always. And so today also you've heard us because you have asked for this and many more blessings through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. It is my honor to welcome the chairman of the Governing Council of KNUST, Ambassador Nana Ifa Appenton, to constitute the assembly. By the powers conferred on me as chairman of the Governing Council of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, I, Ambassador Nana Ifa Appenton, declare this assembly duly constituted. Shall we please stand to sing the university anthem, lift every voice and sing.
Chairman of Council, with your permission, I would like to stand on the existing protocols to introduce the valedictorian of the college in line with our tradition that allows one of the graduates to address congregation on behalf of the graduating class. For the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, the valedictorian is a young lady who has shown her intention right from year one of her studies that she is someone who actually knows the exact purpose for coming to the university. She started with a CWA of 85.40 and with dedication, hard work and perseverance, she maintained sim throughout the period of her studies. She pursued a Bachelor of Arts degree in French at the Department of Language and Communication Sciences, Faculty of Social Sciences. She is graduating with a CWA of 84.61. Interestingly, this is the second consecutive time we have in valedictorian from the same department. College management appreciates the department for the good job done and also congratulate the young lady for her efforts. The valedictorian for this session is Miss Shalom Ablavi Pechu. She is an old student of Kita Senior High School. Shalom, please, your audience. Thank you. Chairman and members of council, Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Provost of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences and other Provost present, College Registrar, Deans, Head, Department of Language and Communication Sciences and other Heads of Department present, Members of Convocation, Faculty and Staff, Parents and Guardians, Distinguished Viewers, Graduating Class of 2022, I am deeply grateful and honored to deliver this valedictory speech on behalf of my failed graduates. Today marks the end of our four-year sojourn in KNUST. Indeed, it has been a story of faith, hope, hard work, and consistency. I am proud we have come this far. Graduating class of 2022, congratulations. Help me use this opportunity to appreciate the Lord God Almighty, who has made this journey a success. Let everyone say, thank you, Lord. I also want to use this opportunity to appreciate my family and loved ones for their immense support, love, and care. Peter Leje, thank you so much for being helpful and supportive in this journey. I say, que Dieu te bénisse infiniment. I think this is a good time to say God bless you for all your timely counsels, encouragement, and protection. My stay in KNUST would have been a different story without these wonderful people God blessed me with. I would like to specially thank Dr. Bernard Ampon, Dr. Kofu Edumenya, Dr. Stella Makafi Yegblemenau, Dr. Lebene Tete, Mr. Damwa Michael, Mr. J. James Osman, my head of department, Dr. Solis Youngson, and other lecturers who contributed immensely to my success. And to my classmates, I say thank you for being the best one could ever ask for. Today is a turning point in each of our lives. We have spent the past years wandering the walls of this great school, and now we are ready to go on. We have learned, laughed, loved, gotten into trouble, and most of all, matured together. But today doesn't just concern reminiscing about the past, it's about looking forward into our future. It's also a day when the common bond we share is broken. We will meet new people, make new friends, and learn new things. We will grow older, more responsible and independent. We will all travel different paths, make different choices, and live different lives. The choices that we make and the paths we take will have great impact on us. But I want you all to know that it's absolutely fine if you have no idea what you'll be doing when you leave this room today. Nobody has any idea where their life will take them. Our lives are not planned out for us. 
we will always have the option to make changes in order to locate the ideal community, position, or way of life. You have the ability to alter not only your career, but your entire life. Whether you are my age and graduating today, a father, a mother, or a grandparent, all you need to do is locate it. Instead of living a life that is determined by what you see on television or what other people expect of you, decide to live a life that is meaningful. Aim for your dreams and live your life in a way that makes you truly happy. Hereafter, our lives will hold many surprises for us, but I am sure we will approach challenges with the same boldness and composure with which we tackle problems currently. The unknown future may seem frightening now, but believe me, the God of all flesh shall perfect everything that concerns you. As I look over the many faces I behold today, perceptions of individuals are washed away. I no longer see people as they were, I see them as they will be. So, rather than a young undergraduate boy or girl, I see the next generation of men and women of valor who will challenge the status quo, shift systems, and push our country and world positively to the next stage of development and sustenance. I am therefore glad as I gaze upon the clear future ahead of me, because despite the vicissitudes of life, there will always or also be success, love, and happiness. So, instead of looking back and regretting, my friends, look forward and smile. Cheshe Dadia, Wamendo Gonshi, Merci les amis, et félicitations à nous tous. Thank you once again, and congratulations to us all. Chairman and members of the University Council, Vice Chancellor, past Vice Chancellors and Pro Vice Chancellors, Vice Chancellors of Sister Universities, Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Provosts of Colleges, Deans and Directors, Heads of Department, Members of Convocation, Representatives from our affiliate institutions, Nananum, Alumni of the University, Senior and Junior Staff, Graduating Class of 2022, Parents and Guardians, the distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to introduce the motivational speaker for the second section of day two of the 56th congregation ceremony of our university. The motivational speaker for our college is an astute business and management consultant with over 23 years of proven experience, exposure, and expertise spanning areas of international business economics, development and management in varied contexts, in fragile states, post-conflict through conflict countries, and on a range of thematic areas, including democratic governance, peace and security, elections, small arms and light weapons, sustainable development, ICT for development, and technology stroke innovations management, and private sector development. He is a Harvard School of Government Executive Education alumina in Emerging Leadership. He holds a Master of Science degree in International Business Economics and a postgraduate degree in International Management from Aalborg University, Denmark. He also holds a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and History from this university, KNUSD, which he obtained in 1994. Currently, he is the UNDP Regional Coordinator for the West and Central African Sub-Regional Hub based in Dakar, Senegal, and a Regional Project Manager of Organized Crime, West Africa Response to Trafficking, and the Cross-Border Management of Small Arm Projects in ECOWAS Region. He also served on detail assignment as acting chief of country oversight support team with the Regional Bureau for Africa in New York. Prior to this position, he was the regional coordinator of EU-funded ECOWAS projects across seven ECOWAS states. He also has served 
in different senior level roles in UNDP, including resident representative UNDP Nigeria, UNDP deputy country program manager Nigeria, assistant country director partnership response mobilization in UNDP Somalia, partnership advisor with UNDP Ghana and Ebola crisis manager in Liberia. In addition to his role as the partnership and compliance advisor in UNDP Liberia, he has working country experience in India, Honduras, and Panama. Before joining UNDP, he worked extensively in the private sector, notably with J. Ottman Consulting in New York, Select Service Partners in Denmark, and PricewaterhouseCoopers in Ghana. These strategic-minded, result-oriented, and very dedicated professionals with over 23 years managerial experience that cuts across middle level, senior level, as well as top executive management positions in various organizations, both local and international, is Mr. Hans Frederick Ampere. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mr. Hans Frederick Ampere, the motivational speaker for the second session of today's graduation ceremony. Please, your audience, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. MC, Chairman and members of the University Council, the Vice Chancellor, past Vice Chancellors and Pro Vice Chancellors, Vice Chancellors of Sister Universities, Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Provost of Colleges, Deans and Directors, Heads of Departments, Members of Convocation, Representative from Affiliate institutions, Nananum, alumni of the university, junior and senior staff, graduating class of 2022, parents and guardians, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored and grateful for this invitation to share a motivational message with the graduating class of 2022. This is a very auspicious occasion and it ushers us into a new phase of our lives. And as we look into the future, full of optimism and hope, and as we sing the song full of faith that the dark past has taught us, as we sing the song full of the hope that the present has brought us, as we face the rising sun of a new day which has just begun, I will start by quoting Reverend Zimmerman, a very famous phrase when we were on campus some 29, 30 years ago. And that phrase was very much known to most of us uh, because it was part of the questions of African studies which was a mandatory course at the time. And most of us who were in KNUSD, USD at the time, shared this particular phrase, which is resources are not, they become. This simple but immensely powerful quote shaped my journey. It guided me over the years to shape my career path and choices over the years. Different people have different interpretations to this particular quote of resources are not, they become. But my own reflection of this quote was very simple. For me, it meant that I, myself, is a resource and I will be resourceful to the extent that I make myself available to it. And so in my case, I wanted to be a diplomat. I wanted to work for the United Nations. And I was acutely aware of the fact that to become a resource that would be valuable enough to attract employment or to share the values of the UN system and to serve as in this world organization, I had to simply invest in myself. That journey led me to do a deep introspection of who I was, reflecting generally on my depth of knowledge, the skills I had to acquire, the leadership skills, the language skills, and all the things that I had to acquire, which together with my attitude, the need for me to shape up an attitude that is befitting of a, such an international organization that will fit into the profile of an international civil servant and that will speak to the values of the UN. I had to build these three attributes, my knowledge, my skills, and to shape my attitude. With regards to knowledge, and I'd like to share this with you on all the graduating class of 2022, I realized very quickly that the competition out there was tough and it was an uphill task because with, you, with, the, with just the first degree, I will not be able to be competitive enough. And so what did I set out to do? I realized that right from university, from the day I, I submitted my thesis, I stepped out 
and I went and set up a company with a friend of mine. Together, we sought to delve into the world of business and consulting. Not that we're oblivious of our shortcomings and our knowledge base, or not that we're naive, but we knew that it would expose us into the new kinds of networks and shape clearly the kind of knowledge that I would need that would be relevant to give me a competitive edge in pursuit of my aspiration. And it worked. Within two years, I'd established good networks within the Ghanaian business community. That gave me my first breakthrough on the UNDP-funded project in Ghana. But more importantly, it shaped the choices that I had to make. It shaped my thinking and gave me a good sense of what kind of knowledge path I should pursue. That experience guided me to make the right choices when I was confronted with two employment opportunities at a point in my early career, one of which came with a good package without prospects of capacity building, and one which came up with a modest package but had a promise of training and a potential for investment in my human resource. It, that was when I reflected again on this famous phrase, resources are not they become. The choice was clear, and I had never regretted it ever since. The point is, as you graduate, reflect on yourself. Do an honest reflection of your knowledge deficit and make conscious effort to bridge the gap. For learning is a lifelong experience. Learning never stops. Invest in yourself. But it took me to the second point, which was that knowledge alone does not necessarily guarantee success in life or a pathway for achieving your life goals. Skills were important. 29 years ago, when we were graduating, we used to go to the university press to have our thesis typed and bounded and printed. You know, there were no jobs such as webmasters, data visualization analysts, uh, artificial intelligence, and the like. Today, those skills are determining the way we live our lives, and it is revolutionizing our everyday lives in such a rapid pace and in such a way that those who recognize the value of acquiring additional IT skills, additional skills that are relevant for contemporary society and the future, who position themselves in the competitive world and become a resource. When I was in graduate school, in the early years of my career, those were the days when there were very few personal computers and laptops. Were just a thing uh, that were just coming up. I saved my resources and through hard work of summer breaks, working in the back rooms of restaurants to buy my first laptop. At the time, I had friends who were buying second-hand and minivans to send to Ghana for resale. And they questioned why I would rather buy a laptop when the faculty computer room was available. And I remember responding to them that I want to invest in myself because it was the only sure investment that I could carry everywhere I went to. Although I was not a computer major, I was a business major. And that was one of the things that I learned in my early life after school, after graduation that I needed to get a business degree because it was going to help me leverage on all the skills and the things that I've learned in school. But then, back to the point, I was not a computer major, but I invested in learning IT skills, and it contributed immensely to acquiring one of my first consulting opportunities as a junior consultant on a team which was responsible for digitizing the communes in Denmark in the late 1990s. It subsequently paved the way for me as an ict for d advisor in UNDP in later years. Back to the point, resources are not, they become. So invest in yourself. But as the saying goes, attitude is everything. And that leads me to my third point. And some HR practitioners will tell you, we hire attitude. It sounds mundane, but the fact is that you can build the capacity of someone to acquire additional skills. You can build, you can train and retrain an individual to acquire knowledge, new skills, IT skills, computer skills, communication skills, leaderships, and so forth and so forth. Especially, but you cannot, it's especially very difficult to change the attitude of somebody who is not willing and do not have the humility to change positively. The desire to change, the will to change, and the ability to change and build your attitude lies with you. And it is a critical step that one needs to take, especially as you graduate. There are things that attitudes and personality traits that you have carried over the years. Now, as you step out, know that you need to speak, you need to reflect, 
you need to think of the kind of attitude that you have. As a step into the world, and as sometimes I say, God gave us two years, two years and one month. And it's in that same proportion he expects us to use them. Have respect for divergent views. Build your integrity, decorum, and professionalism. These were attributes that I identified as incredibly immeasurable in my early part of my career and critically shaped my vision till today. Coincidentally, they were aligned with the core values of the UN, and thus my journey and pathway were noticeably clear, especially with regards to the values that I should not compromise on. Throughout my career, from the far east in India, through my brief stints in Latin America and Honduras and Panama, to working in Europe and in the HR in UN headquarters in New York, in addition to working in at least half a dozen African countries in senior management roles, one feedback that has been common thread throughout and during all my sent forth and farewell parties has been my integrity, humility, and respect for the rules and respect for colleagues. I have no doubt that in addition to God's grace and favor, my constant reflection on how I can be a better person to shape and hone my attitude has contributed immensely to how far I have come on this journey. So I'd like to conclude by reiterating and admonishing you once more, invest in yourself. Apply the knowledge that you have gained here. Acquire new and relevant skills and hone your existing skills. Be resourceful wherever you find yourself. Develop an attitude of selflessness, professionalism, of gratitude, and above all, be kind to one another. I draw a quote from Mahatma Gandhi, which has been one of my guiding principles over the years, which says, if I could cheer someone with a word or song, if I can show someone he or she is traveling wrong, if I can lend someone a helping hand, then my living in this world would not have been in vain. This has been one of my guiding principles. It's my ardent hope and my fervent wish that God of our weary years of arduous work, the God that heard the drops of your silent tears, the God that has brought you thus far on the way, who has his might has led you into the light of a graduation day, will crown all your efforts with success. Invest in yourself. Put God at the center of your life. Go out there and conquer the world. Congratulations to the class of 2022 graduates. And the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, and to your proud families and guardians and loved ones for all the sacrifices over the years. Thank you very much, congratulations, and I wish you all the best. Prince 
Philip of Macedon. Alexander the Great, the Papa. So I remember Aristotle, so I'm trying to There is no royal road to geometry. Mathematics in the system. I'm sorry. I Thank you. In our congregation ceremonies, the Vice Chancellor presents her address to the Assembly. Chairman of Council, with your permission, I invite the Vice Chancellor, Professor Mrs. Rita Akosia Dixon, to present her address to the Assembly. Chairman and members of the University Council, Vice Chancellor, past Vice Chancellors and Pro Vice Chancellors, colleague Vice Chancellors, Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Provost of Colleges, Deans and Directors, Heads of Department, members of Convocation, representatives from affiliated institutions, Nananum, alumni of the University, senior and junior staff. Graduating class of 2022, parents and guardians, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the chairman and members of the governing council, the vice chancellor, 
management and the entire staff of this great institution, it is my pleasure to warmly welcome all our graduates and esteemed guests who are with us this morning to the virtual platform to the third day of our 56th congregation ceremony. Today's ceremony marks the third time in the history of this university that graduation ceremony is being held without the usual pomp and pageantry, and notably without the physical presence of our cherished graduates. However, unlike the last two, which was due to the COVID-19 pandemic that changed the world and other significantly, and for that matter, we all had to adapt to the new normal, this time, it had to do with disruptions to academic calendar due to some labor unrests. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered via the virtual platform this morning to confer degrees on our deserving graduates of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences and to celebrate them for the successful completion of their various programs of study. Dear graduates, I wish to use this opportunity to congratulate you for achieving this milestone in your lives. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to inform you that the College of Humanities and Social Sciences is presenting 2,739 undergraduates this morning. This total is made up of 1,391 males, representing 50.8%, and 1,348 females, representing 49.2%. Also, of this number, 543 are graduated in first class honors, representing 19.8%, 1,477 representing 53.9 had second class honors, upper division, 695, that is 25.4%, graduate with second class honors, that is lower division, and 24, that is only 0.9% would pass. This year, once again, the overall best graduating student in the college comes from the Department of Language and Communication Sciences, who also happens to be a valedictorian for the congregation. She is in the person of Ms. Pesu Ablavi Shalom, and she is graduating with a CWA of 84.61. Ladies and gentlemen, with respect to student enrollment in the college, the number into the college keep increasing, and we believe the story will not be different this academic year. At the right time, the exact numbers that were admitted into the various courses in the college will be made known. Regarding preparations to receive the admitted students this year, as I stated in my last year's report, the college with the assistance of the management of the university has been able to complete a great part of the ongoing faculty of social science block to provide additional space for the teaching and learning. We are also grateful to government for the additional hands that the college has received. This will go a long way to ease the stress on our staff. However, with our incessant attempt to expand, we anticipate an increase in our enrollment for the 2022-2023 academic year, which will require more lectures so that we do not fall foul of the Ghana tertiary education Council's requirement for student lecture ratio. The increase in student numbers must be complemented with teaching and learning facilities. In this regard, we will entreat GetFran to assist us with additional teaching and learning facilities. Over the past two years, the college has endeavored to institute a smart student group that course leadership and mentorship academy. The purpose of the academy is to instill into these students the ability to think outside the box, be able to work efficiently beyond their individual disciplines of learning, evolve to become complete graduates, and to have 
the welfare of the college and Ghana at heart, as well as becoming entrepreneurs. Plans are far advanced to inaugurate the academy this year. A team from the college also paid working visits to have discussions with leadership and chief executive officers of some organizations and institutions. This is aimed at strengthening collaborations and to take input from them to enrich our curriculum. This step is informed by the fact that we identify these organizations and institutions as key stakeholders. The KNRC School of Business continues to benefit from the RFP from the USAID under the Bridge Train Call, which won a grant of $15 million in partnership with the Arizona State University, ASU. This grant led to the establishment of the Center for Applied Research and Innovation in Supply Chain Africa, CARISCA. This is established in KNOS School of Business. The project, which started in June 2020, has so far provided 23 PhD and 75 master degree scholarships at KNOST. Additional scholarship places will be made available to brilliant but needy students to pursue postgraduate studies in logistics and supply chain at KNOST up to 2025. The grant has also allowed business school to establish an innovation lab to provide a space for student innovative ideas to be developed to the stage of commercialization as part of universities, one department, one project initiative. Among others, the KSP continues to host the OR Tambo Research Chair in Entrepreneurship and Youth Employment, awarding 20 scholarships to deserving applicants during the 2021-2022 academic year. This is as follows. PAD 14 students, eight females and six males, MPhil one male and MSc five, two of them being females and three males. The chair has also awarded additional 10 master degree scholarship places for the 2022 to 2023 academic year. Under the TREK project, in partnership with the Department of Civil Engineering at the College of Engineering, the KSB was able to award scholarship to four students, made up of three females and one male, to pursue PhD studies in logistics and supply chain for the 2021-2022 academic year. This is in addition to the 13 PhD scholarship places awarded in the 2018 and 2020 academic years. International collaboration and partnerships. During the year and the review, the KSB engaged in various international collaborations. A few of them are as follows. A partnership with the International Trade Center in Switzerland for collaborative teaching and sustainability and certification for small businesses through which small businesses in Ghana can have their businesses certified to meet international sustainability standards was reached. In furtherance of this, a training of trainers workshop was organized in April 2022, paving the way for training for local small businesses in November 2022. The KSB, in partnership with the Technical Investor of Berlin, won a DAA funding on affordable sustainability logistics networks in Ghana to the tune of 630 thousand euros to fund the writing of local cases on sustainability logistics to support problem-based teaching in the School of Business, conduct research in sustainability logistics in the automotive, pharmaceutical, and agro-processing centers, and facilitate the exchange of faculty and students on externship and internship programs. The KSB also benefited from the Erasmus Plus Plus project, where six undergraduate students were sent to the University of Terre for one semester. In partnership with Africa Center for Career Enhancement and Skills Support, that is ASSES, 
The KSV also organized international summer school for faculty and students. The KSV started an exchange partnership process with the College of Business, Southern University, and the a and College, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, USA, resulting in a visit by 22 faculty and students and community people in June 2022. This exchange is anticipated to promote international business education by enhancing export readiness and digital entrepreneurship skills of minority and women-owned small businesses. And also to use partnership as a vehicle for internationalizing curricula, faculty, students, and small businesses communities of the partnering institutions. The partnership has led to training of four KSB faculty, entrepreneurship, education at Babson College in the United States from January 2023. The school is expecting another team of 25 visitors made up of students, faculty, business leaders, and policymakers from the state of Louisiana in June 2023. The KSB continues to benefit from the Arizona State University MasterCard Foundation 3 plus 1 plus 1 International Accelerated Degree Program, which offers undergraduate students the opportunity to complete their program of study at ASU and subsequently pursue a one-year master's program. Now at Faculty of Law, the faculty in the year under review was engaged in a number of programs, including the following. The Maiden Eminent Legal Scholars Lawyers Public Lecture Series on 27th January, 2022, under the topic, A Very Convenient Marriage, Law and Technology in the Quest for Economic Transformation. The speaker for the event was Professor Kofi Obin Kofu, an eminent legal scholar based in the United Kingdom. The first KN West Faculty of Law Forum for current legal issues on the topic, the aggressive invasion of Ukraine by Russia. Can the root causes legitimize Putin's choice of war? It was organized by the faculty and it was delivered by one of our own, Professor Oswald Kafui Senyeja on the 3rd of March, 20. 22. Furthermore, the faculty for the first time had an induction ceremony to officially welcome new students into the faculty and to inculcate in them the pursuit and commitment to excellence in the legal education and profession. The ceremony was held on the 24th of March, 2022. The keynote speaker for the event was an alumnus in the person of Honorable Dina Asunaba Dapa, the Deputy Minister of Justice and Attorney General. The second Faculty of Law Forum for current legal issues on the topic, the 1992 Constitution, Law and Development, Agenda for Reform was held on 27th April, 2022, and the Speaker of Dana, Dr. S.K.B. Asante. This was followed by the second Faculty of Law Eminent Legal Scholars and Lawyers Public Lecture Series, held on Friday, since May 2022 via Zoom. The topic was healthy biometrics, making good choices about genuine editing. And the speaker was Professor Sir Jonathan Montgomery. The third of the series was held on the 19th of May 2022 at the KNOST Great Hall. And the topic was Reflections on the Role of the Ghanaian Legal System in Development. The speaker was Professor Justice S.K. Datema. The law faculty also organized a colloquium on the draft rent bill and Ghana Housing Authority bill on Monday, 4th July 2022 at the Faculty of Law Auditorium under the chairmanship of the Vice Chancellor, Professor Mrs. Rita Kusia Dixon. The special guest of honor was Honorable Francis Asensubuachi, the Minister of Works and Housing. The team of our law faculty became the overall winners of the 31st 
Haste of Hands African Human Rights Mood Court Competition 2022, which was held in Cairo, Egypt, from the 25th to 30th of July 2022. This has paved the way for the university to be selected to host the next competition. That is the African Human Rights Mood Court Competition 2023, which is scheduled for September 2023. On Friday, the 12th of August 2022, LRB Open Day was held for some selected senior high school at the Faculty of Law Auditorium. The Maiden Faculty of Law International Conference on Law, Science and Technology was also held on 31st of August 2022 at the Faculty of Law Auditorium. Topic for the discussion was Ghana's digitization drive, law at the intersection of law, science, and technology. Now to the Faculty of Social Sciences. A number of happenings have also been witnessed at the Faculty of Social Sciences. Among them are the following. Professor George Bob Miller was appointed as an adjunct professor of African Studies by the University of Copenhagen, Denmark. Dr. Daniel Uzuansa has been reappointed as the board chair of the Ghana Publishing Company Limited, and Professor Samuel Adujemfi was also appointed to serve on the Ghana Museums and Monuments Board. The Department of Geography and Rural Development organized its maiden virtual geographic information system workshop in February 2022 for four weeks in partnership with the Department of Geography and Geology of the Sam Houston State University, Texas, USA, as part of efforts to strengthen institutional collaborations under this initiative, 11 participants from diverse research fields were trained in applied GIS to enhance their career advancement. The department also played a central role in the development and launching of Mitroski, a mobile application for finding places and planning travels based on GIS technology. Significantly too, as part of activities to promote continuous professional development, the department organized grant writing workshop for senior members. At the Department of Language and Communication Sciences, the expatriate staff from the French and the Chinese sections contribute immensely to deepen the relations between the university and their respective embassies and some universities in their countries. In the year under review, the department received one Fulbright Scholar in the person of Dr. Tiffany Thames Copeland from the USA. She will be with the Media and Communication Studies section. Following an MOU between KNOST and the Spanish Embassy in Ghana, the department also received a Spanish tutor in the person of Ms. Noria Otero who is going to work with the department to introduce Spanish as one of the programs of study at the department. In the year the review, some lecturers in the department, notably Professor Charles Marfu and Mr. Emmanuel Enchufajo, completed a collaborative project with the Department of Optometry, KNOST, and Obis International that led to the publication of two books, Eningo Mano, translated as the eye book by Kenneth Youngstein and Dianyum Tuni, the singing tree. Through the effort of the Social Work Students Association, an Eastern student donated an amount of 9,000 Ghana cities to the Dudiakon Community Vocational Training School. Following a visit to the school, the amount was used to purchase two 48 inches flat screen TV sets one five feet deep freezer, power stabilizer, food items, toiletries to the school on May 22nd, 2022. At the Department of Religious Studies, the very Reverend Dr. Frimpo Riafe was invited to be guest speaker at the 30th anniversary celebration of the Methodist Presbyterian Church in Tel Aviv, Israel. Also at the second Pan-African Congress on Theology, 
Society and Pastoral Life in Nairobi, Kenya, Reverend Father Professor Francis Apiakubi was awarded as one of the best theologians at that conference. At the Department of Economics, two of their best students, that is, Enoch Insifu and Thompson Ogaja Teria, of the MPhil classes of 2021-2022 have received scholarship awards from the European Union through the Alicante University to pursue a PhD in economics. Also, three other MPhil students, namely Franklin Badakie, Ba, Bajike, Millicent Nimako, and Kwajo Entry Yafi, who participated in the joint faculty electives teaching have gained scholarship funded by the African Economic Research Consortium to pursue PhD at the University of Cape Town, South Africa, an affiliate of AERC. The Department of History and Political Studies, in collaboration with the British Academy and the King's College, London, organized a historic conference from the 9th to 11th November 2022 on a theme Stereotyping in Africa, Root Causes, Consequences, and Solutions. The department also hosted Professor Asansa from the Ohio University of Athens, USA, on Kennedy African Diaspora Program from 1st June to 15th August 2022. The professor worked with graduate students of the department on thesis writing and also taught a course on history of Islamic movements in Africa in the 19th and the 20th century. The Department of History and Political Studies also facilitated the signing of MOU between the Royal Society for Asante Culture and History and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, which aimed, among other things, to strengthen teaching and learning of Asante history and culture, institute scholarship skills for young Asante graduates to pursue postgraduate degrees in Asante history, and chieftaincy and traditional leadership. Train historians selected by Amai Hine in Asantemai towards documenting daily historical occurrences at various palaces. Develop ecotourism and historical sites in Asantemai. Facilitate the setting up of Royal Anthropological Institute. Foster direct linkage and partnership with the Menshia Palace towards providing high-level traditional authority support to further development of the Asante history, chieftaincy, and traditional leadership programs. The Department of English collaborated with the KNUST basic and junior high schools to host spelling bee competitions. The head of department, assisted by two lecturers in the department, moderated the competition. About 30 representatives of the Black American students and professionals in the state of Florida visited the department in July 2022 with the sole intention of interacting with students in the department. The delegation also affirmed their willingness to come back and to collaborate with the department. On August 11, 2022, the Faculty of Social Sciences, through the Public Lecture Committee, organized a public lecture on the team, The Changing Face of Policing in Ghana, Expectations and the Role of the University Community with the Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Akufu Dampare, as the guest speaker. Following the IGP's visit and lecture, the following four courses have been developed and submitted to the College Short Courses Coordinator for action. One, crime mapping and geospatial analytics. Two, criminology and criminal justice. Three, human rights based policing. And last but not the least, policing and leadership. Now, the Center for Culture and African Studies. The center continues to collaborate with Institutes such as Kumase Metropolitan Brass Band, Association of Ashanti Choral Groups, Ejako Nimo and the other them, the Akan Film Producers and Association, and Center for National Culture and Folkloric Group. In the year under review, 
The center received several visiting scholars, many of whom gave seminars as follows. One, Ghana, wherefore before therefore, on March 31, 2022, by Professor Justice Tankebe from the University of Cambridge, with discussions being Dr. Paul Bachami and Mrs. Alice Jesse Mensah. The political economy of heaven and earth, religious theories and praxis in the pandemic world. This was organized on May 13, 2022 by Dr. Dana H. Batson, Northern African Institute, Sweden. Women in politics in Ghana. This was organized on June 30, 2022, and the speaker was Annie Edwards from the University of Florida, USA. In other activities, Professor George Miller convened a panel on the topic, Old Parks, New Futures, the Changing Use of Open Urban Space in Ghana at the Ghana Studies Association's First Triennial Conference, Ghana at Crossroad, UDS Tamale. This was organized on 19th July, 2022. Professor George Miller also facilitated Miyasa Writing School in April, 2022, on the title, What Makes a Strong Paper? Making an original contribution and using data to support analysis and argument, which was sponsored by the University of Ghana, Marian Institute for Advanced Studies, that is MIESA. Ladies and gentlemen, KN is 70 years since its inception and has churned out many graduates who are dotted all over the world, impacting lives and society. To celebrate this milestone, the university launched the 70th anniversary, which is a year-long celebration. The theme for the 70th anniversary celebration is KNOST 70 years of global impact, a new age for a renewed focus. I'm delighted to inform you that the university has carried out various activities such as public lectures, exhibitions, and alumni homecoming successfully. The global alumni played key role in the celebration of the anniversary, including institution of an endowment fund dubbed 70 at 70 alumni levy, a throwback night to share great fun and moment on campus, Katanga Unity Alumni Roundtable Convo and alumni faculty activities were carried out. Please join the global alumni after your graduation and participate in any future activities. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, I wish to express our sincerest appreciation to our stakeholders who have been of immense support to the college. These include the Georgetown University, the British Academy, the German Research Foundation, to mention by the few. I appreciate and thank all parents, guardians, and benefactors of our graduates. If our graduates are standing tall today, we know they are doing so on your toils and sweat. Your unflinching support has propelled them to this great achievement. May your sacrifices be rewarded. Again, I wish to thank our gallant graduates and all other students for their cooperation during the years that they have been with us. To my able staff of the college, I'm truly grateful for your support. It was through your sacrifices and efforts that we were able to bring the semester to a successful end. Even though the virtual teaching was new to some of us, we adjusted and soldiered on to deliver on our mandate as an institution. I say bravo to each and every one of you. I would at this point want to say a word of advice to my proud graduates. I want to congratulate you once again for the great success for which you are being celebrated today. We all share in your joy and achievements. We on our part have done all within our limited resources to provide you with the needed knowledge and skills to broaden your horizon to be functional in society. 
It is now up to you to make maximum use of the acquired knowledge and skills for the betterment of society. As the world continues to change, please continue to build on your skills and knowledge so you can continuously remain relevant in the changing times. Make use of your skills in the identification of problems, proposal development, investigation, etc., to create value and efficiency in whichever sector you find yourself. Be reminded that in life, nothing gets easier. However, as you strive, you get better. I would like to leave you with a quote from a biblical devotion which states, Success isn't automatically given to us. It is pursued with all the energy and sweat we can master. Obstacles and struggles are part of life. They make us appreciate success. If everything came easy, we would never know how it feels to succeed. Obstacles were meant to be overcome. Fear was meant to be conquered. And success was meant to be achieved. I pray that the good Lord establishes you and grants you abundant success in every endeavor of yours. May he open the heavens, the storehouse of his bountiful blessings and goodness for all the work of your hands. Finally, I wish to encourage you to register with the KNOST Alumni Association and entreat you to be active members of this global fraternity. It is a great platform for networking and for the organization and mobilization of resources to support your alma mater, the KNOST. Once again, I thank you all for making time to join us on the virtual space and for your audience. God richly bless you. The most exciting part of our graduation ceremony is the presentation of graduates for the award of respective degrees. Chairman of Council, with your permission, I welcome our registrar, Mr. Andrew Squissy Boatin, to initiate conferment proceedings. Chairman of Council, with your permission, I call on the Provost, College of Humanities and Social Sciences, to present the candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for the award of degrees to be admitted to the said degrees. Chairman of Council, I have the honor and privilege to present to you graduates of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, all of who have fulfilled the requirement for the award of a degree to be admitted to the said degrees. By the powers conferred on me as Chairman of the Governing Council of this university, I, Ambassador Nane Farpintin, formally admit you to the respective degrees of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. Graduates, Aiko. College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, First Class. Afo Kelvin. Ahmed Mazouk Yakub. Amwa Ruth Oredua and Safrin Pon Sharon Entry Boy Siakon Simon Atta Apia Blankson Evans Awachin Battels Elizabeth Domson Richard Gianni Moses Elistella Kokwa Asian Benedict Latte Joseph Livingston, Mesa Margaret, Intim Agustina, Obo Abigail, Oga Roosevelt, Ohine Siao Philip, Okuna Hayford, Opoku Otsa Benedicta, Osei Caleb, Owusu Ansa Vanessa, Sapati Sylvester Sapon Nana Osei Yakwa Irajua Fosua Second Class Upper Division 
Abua Prince Jeche, Abua J. Eric, Aboko Jacob Alebigi, Efriye Frederick, Ejakwa Emmanuel Amisare, Ajani Boateng Samuel, Ajepon Kwame, Amponsa Esiama Oteng, Ano Ohine Nana Sintim Poku, Arthur Bernard, Arthur Christina Enima, Arthur Isaac, Asante Clement Obain, Asari Donko Frederick Dankwa, Atakra Wendy Pendi Udra, Beidu Samuel, Boahine Richard Ofosu, Boache Bernard, Buje Constance, Eshawn Cecilia, Fosu Michaela Penin, Frempo Martha, Jamra Veronica Ajoa, Jan Presla, Kosa Hana, Late Lorraine Latekai, Mensa Elizata Nana Esi, Minyogli Richmond, Nimo Ampon Emmanuel, Intim Nanama, On Wudinjo of Fechukude Alexander, Opoku Esther, Ose Godfred, Owusu and Sassandra, Owusu Opoku John, Oyajo Richard Nanayao, Safo Thomas, Tebri Emmanuel, Tano Mary, Wawonyo Amewuga, Yabua Abigail, Second Class, Lower Division, Ababio Evans Edumua Mensa, Akwaya Brago, Agri Francis, Asamoa Abna Krantima, Ayete Rafael Floku, Boache Asamoa Bradford, Dankwa Michael, Diamon Edna, Gia Hilda, Frempon Precious, Kweisi Charity, Troy Akins, Inkruma Charity, Obo Nana Kwesi Amankra, Okai Alberta, Owusu Claudia Nyakon, Tahiru Abu Bakari Nanju, College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, English, First Class. Edriache Presla Ama, Asamoa George, Ayine Bernard Azelbila, Efa Daniel, Opon Felix Boache, Potino Giovannina Faith, Siom Kogli Fumale Cornelius, Yin Wumba Yin Namal Timan Emmanuel, Second Class Upper Division, Aban Albert, a champion Ethel, a do say from Poma Gloria, and Ponsa Stella, and Dam Clinton Irama, a Pia Deborah Okorewa, Ahen Justina, a Siama Daniel, a Siedu Enestina, Boama Shakina Juanyanta. Boke Precious Nanama, Jobo Aseye, Esau Sylvester Nyameche, Jemfi Abnasewa, Mohamed Barakisu, Nupeta Men San Juliana, Nuchuga Esther, Onipa Yabua Doreen, Uwi Bonio and Jemilin Cedric, Tonu Gloria Afi, Washington Akosuya Nyameche 
second class lower division. Efa Marion Fozard. Esibu Enoch Dixon. Idrisu Mariam. Mante Abigail. Nyami Jesiwa Joycelyn. Owusu Janet Miyama. Pepra Judith. Techi Ruth Catherine. Wobi Dorothy Akwele College of Humanities and Social Sciences Bachelor of Arts Geography and Rural Development First Class Ajay Albert Opare Ajemai Salome Akins Emilia Isiedua Belinda Watain Sharif Dankwa Jivana Nyakwa Dochi Obed Boache Mensa Sylvia Ninson Philip Ofori Rachel Osman Jewe Abdo Washiu Walker Atukwamina Yebo Julius MFA Baba Second class, upper division. Abwaje Michael. Abwaje Nanayao. Adebabu, Goswell Seiram. Adai Mensa Gilbert. Ado Emmanuel Ofei. Adom Ankoma Van Dyke. Ahiabli Patience Aku. Akogo Francis Xavier. Amankwa Benedicta Tiwa Ampia Adriana Enyonam Anakwa Samo Opare Asanti Poku Kelvin Asari Obey Marian Esiedu Intesem Judith Aita Rini Bafo Vaida Amanswa Baden Bartholomew Beidu Jeffrey Seth Blade Desmond Boache Mensa Terry Boating Pepra Kelvin Bonir Evelyn Bracon Felix Kofi Henry Salasi Dapa Esi Edua Mame Diom Alberta Dela Jemfi Prince Ibrahim Abdul Shakor Kusi Emanuela Buedum Kwashi Ivy Do Lawe Emanuel Tete Logmano Daniel Do Mensa Lucia Mensa Steven Milichi Belinda Nate Jordan Neo Tu Novo Set Nyako Enoch Nyako Vicent Beidu Nyinako Francesca Ado Osai Catherine Osai David Osai Ajimai Beverly Ashikai Pate Mary Teko Ifwa Peprabesmak Pose Nabi Ifa Isaac Saki Andrew Sunkwa Catherine Taban Tingani Felicia Tebri Kelvin Joseph Tete Melina Akwele Tuateng Harriet Williams Augustina Baba Yabua Gifty Second Class Lower Division Akogo Marian Asel Siwini Ando Charles Melvin Ayite Frederick Boahin Julius Opon Osei Rexford Jr. Osei Bonsu Alberta Otu Daniel Wawonyo Benedicta College of Humanities and Social Sciences 
Bachelor of Arts, Culture and Tourism, First Class. Amponsa Rachel, Anilig Benedicta, Enki Boateng Paul, Ayelgom Ayenimi Felix, Ba Esther Afra, Baire Bright Unipo, Kujo Nu Kojo Mawulao, Kusi Bridget, Sunfra Modesta, Second Class Upper Division, Abukari Maridia, Aka Angel Nketia, Aduni Faustina, Efumwa Dokas, Ejay Doris, Amevo Etonam, Akampong Joel Jemfi, Baden Gloria Dede, Boham Francis Fifi, Bona Presla, Bonnie Prince Alasi, Dansun Anahima, Davis Eugene Kwesi, Divier Nanaba, Gidi Supegi Vanessa, Jima Mercy, Ibrahim Tijani, Kunedu Comfort, Laie Emmanuel, Mate Ronald Rickley OK, Indinga Gifty, Nse Super Henry Kweku Indini, Ofei Bedu Efua Akua, Omane Dennis, Otre Kwejo, Owusu Acha Winifred, Owusu Bwedi Emanuela, Tete Daniel, Chumesi Ankra Samuel, Second Class Lower Division, Edu Gabriel Da Costa, Ajemai Atta Patterson, Jima Esther, Inkruma Desmond, Osei Bernard Enchi, Poku Aduma Levona, College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, History, First Class, Abubaka Gafa, Ampiao Emmanuel, Asamoa Mavis, Bazig Amwa Emmanuel, Boache Godfred, Eli Christiana, Bafa Pascal in Adobia Edem, Godonu Emmanuel, Odro Benes, Opokwa Jemai Sali, Pepra Naomi, Tego Nyama Obed, Second Class Upper Division, Abubaka Ishara, Echampon Jessica Osa, Edubuahin Perry, Afua Kwa Clayford, Agri Samuela Techiwa, Ajimai Men Sabuache, Ekufu Nindie Nanakojo, Amwa Abigail, Amwa Philip, Anose Chidanis, Asante Kunedu, Asante Michael, Awalime Ebenezer Kofi, Beidu Tobo Samuel, Boache Ebenezer, Bua mana nako suya sewa. Brakon Alberta Afra. Dakra Jonas Timbana. Debra Linda. Encho Ruby. Frempon Samuel. Klufa Bridget Amable. Kusi Kaleb Ampoma. Mahami Rufai. Mensa Samuel Godwin, Muntaka Madia, Naliu James, 
Obin dan kwa Harriet. Odai Prince Labi. Ofori tete edubia Matilda. Okodi ete Ria Eunice. Opon Kelvin Kwache. Owusu Ajekum Frida. Owusu Ansa William. Owusu Anod Bempa. Owusu Boateng Philemon. Polly Uriana Ishia. Terry Alexander. Yabu Abne Cha. Yabu Abne Siedua. Second class, lower division. Abdallah Nafisa. Alemia Richard. Anyatai Adolf Soa. Asamoa Reta Ama Enima. Eyisi Besma Kwame. Befi Nathaniel Kojo Odei. Bewa Dana Richmond. Chepsa Yakubu. Danso Krista Bewachere. Ira Shaibu Fridaus. Fiakbonu Daniela. Frempon Kwekwa Mwakonghine. Bandi Haruna Ethel. Che Mesa Steven. Odro Yabua Jacqueline. Osai Owusu Christian. Osai Kletu Shiamine. Sapon Imano Akwesi. College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Bachelor of Arts. Political Studies. First Class. AJ Emmanuel. AJ Ino Kwabna Yabua. Ahinsa Christian. Entry Florence Opokua. Asante Bismarck. Kwabna Moses. Dapa Kwabna Opoku. Lente George Bichamikra. Nyako Matilda. Okoli Onye Chuku Yukaria. Osai Shiamai Christabel. Owusu Edu Sai Dion Emanuela. Owusu Yunes Ansa. Owusu McBride Chumwa. Owusu Makion Bwedi. Simons Kobe Bryan. Sulesa Salome Suhuyini. Yabua Daniel. Second class upper division. Aka Maklav. Aqua Jerry Jesse. Adai Derek. Adodrowa Christiana. Adoba Helena. Aglina Praise. Ajay Bafo Nadine. Ahima Emilia Efia. Alagbo Anastasia. Ampon Boafo Emanuela. Anaisi Mercy. Andodina Vanessa. Ankuma Nathaniel. Arthur Princess. Asamoa Duma Ama. Asamoa Baswa Richard. Asari Yvette. Ata Kwansa Nanakwesi. Ayona Benes. Bashu Redeem Sechi. Boache Christiana. Boate Selina Kosuya. Dan Kwa Solomon. Dan Suni Ephraim. Dan Kwa Mary. Eja Andakuan Deborah. Esau Emmanuel. Fosuya Elizabeth. Jane Finkruma Solomon. Kakari Victoria. Kwabia Boache Leroy. Kwaifio Okan Rebecca. Menu Angela Ntiamwa. Mensa Bonsu Josephine. Mensa Magdalene Ama. 
Minka Derek, Nimo Angela, Obey Nessa Hilda, Odame Florence, Okwan Richard Boache, Opare Stella Ekuba, Prempe Jennifer Owusua, Kwaku Joseph Niedu, Saki Stephanie Naajele, Sapon Lois, Sapon Prisla Abrefi, Unicorn Gillian Mateko, Second Class Lower Division, Adams Jessica Hilda Na Nateki, Edumata Anane Joycelyn, EJ Ernesto Wusu, Ampoma Emmanuel, Batu Mukanjo, Boafo Derek, Boateng Constance, Dufour Gideon, Dula Osman, Lomote Jonathan Nida Akon, Mante Valentina Sewa, Oware Boaben Kofi, Robertson Kelvin Kute, Sani Mohamed Sulafa, College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, Akan, Second Class, Upper Division, Adoma Ameyao Hubert, Ejay Poma Gertrude, Osai Buedu Ebenezer, Second Class, Lower Division. Amwako Michael, College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, French, First Class. Edu Macbetha, Ejari Kinsman, Amemo Anthony Venunye, Ano Ekiel Fosua, Azila Fufibi Yaira, Ban Susanna, Boateng Belinda, Gali Fidel, Ho Beidu Yvonne, Kunedu Yabua Eden, Petu Ablavi Shalom, La Binesha, Nyantechi Joseph Ata, Sosu Samuel, Second Class Upper Division Abeidu Mame Amajaba Aqua Catherine Nakosuya Ejapoma Jacqueline Ejapon Tara Mary Alan Cyril Amosalidia Anobel Apia Warden Ivan Emisa Ashite Beki Chao Na Amankwa Damia Kosia Frempoma Dixon Esther Kwate Emanuela Abedu Inkuma Boche Innocentia Insia Francis Okoto Gladys Opon Leticia Dakwa Osaibon Sowusu Samuel Noel Owusu Beverly, Poku Abna Achiyama, Yabu Asindi Oforiwa, Yevu Grace, Second Class, Lower Division. From Paul Manson Naomi, College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, Religious Studies, Second Class, Upper Division. Abinja Francis, Adosewa Yunis, Edu Richmond Echampon, Agbomaji Veronica, Enuma Obeta Na Okaile, Atara Jeremia, Bimbia Stefi Naladi, Budubai Ni Charity, 
Harun na salama tu. Men San Josephine. Osei Owusu Samuel. Piedu Andrews Lawrence. Yabua Janet. York Sarah. Second class, lower division. Edu Jemfi Dina. Amponsa Eric Nana. Dazi Michael. Dankwa Shalim. Salifu Mohammed Sani. Samwini Mahama Fawuzu. College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, First Class. Abbas Nimatu. Adai Alfred. Adevu Princess. Afizi Godwin. Ajay Rejoice Sedem. Ahmed to Prosper Michael. Ampofo Boachua Emanuela. Anafi Emmanuel. Anan Emilia Adole. Apia Ajay Urua Kofi. Awule Savera Chocho. Do Wendy Sichofe Ajoa. Gayi Evelyn. Nkrumah Abigail Esi Edua. Obey Felix Senior. Ofori Kelvin. Ofosu Kenneth Amena. Opoku Gregory Nana. Osei Esmeralda Sewa. Painter Prince. Quay Joel. Segbeji Dela Ethel. Techi Paul. Second Class Upper Division. Abdella Fad. Abinja Matilda. Echampon Echama Benedicta. Adai Augustina. Ejabin Anastasia Sika. E do will cause Ruth Abena. Afo Nyano Randi. Agbota Ivy. Eje Liz Benson. Eje Asante Samuel. Ahinkra Abena Jimfua. Akwabua Irene. Amankwa Brewa Presla. Ami Dajato Grace. Amega Fibi Sefako. Amponsa Alice. Eni Nkoko Presla. Eni Lennox Bonsu Osei. Apia Belinda. Ama Kobi Joseph. Arthur Abwajua Salome. Arthur Horatius. Ayipa Ifwa Boateng. Asante Crystal. Asante Nyame Bridget. Esibuo Kofi Owusu. Asan Gertrude Abena. Awaji Salom. Ayika Patricia. Boache Kensford. Brown Queenster Ajoa Atre. Chidi Richard. Kopina Madeline. Dazi Ebo. Dankwa Emanuela. Dozi Bridget. Dukuchumwa Francesca. Ejo Ellen Ekubasin. Esau Presla Efe. Fuseni Habiba India. Gasese Esther. Jesse from Poma Presla. Kate Felix Elom. Laya La Bidokas. Laya Roslyn Akwako. Menu Mildred Efia. Inketia Maxwell. Nyako Bwachewa Josephine. Opuni Bwache Ya Ovariwa. Osai Bwache Vera. Osei Ata Raymond. Osei Harriet. 
Osei Asibe Josfin. Osei Wusu Bon Sumavin. Osei Men Sanvera. O Wusu Ansa Prince. Kwesin Josfin. Said Nazir Mohammed Ahuru. Shamsuddin Swad. Ten Crying Gifty. Tete Valencia Mateki. Rare Kun Jerry John. Yabua Lisa. Yabua Perpetual. Second Class Lower Division. Ado in Tibia Martha. Ado Mensa Ephraim. Aflo Precious Kofi. Asante Baden Bright. Beidu Anthony. Boatema and Pedu Dina. Da Kwesi Atta. Hamilton Rodney. Upon Kosa Westcott Judith. Osei Bonsu Angela. Kweino Jeshuru Niado. Sapon Derek. Teria Hilary Araba. Tenkrain Eric. To four Eric Kofi. College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bachelor of Arts, Social Work, First Class. A champion Karen if you are Ba Menu Grace Love. Baba Yi Prince Andy. Dauda Malik. Jamra Magdalene. Tete Charlotte Nafole. Second class upper division. Abentara Vitos and Ambocha. A champion Doris. Aqua Andy Nana Ahen. A J Jessica Yaba. A Dujem Fi Equia Kumiwa. A Free Sarah. Agbeli Jennifer Ram. A Japon Deborah. Alija Derek Salasi. Amwa Mercy. Amwa Conjoice Lini Rabna. Amponsa Caleb Kweku. Enim Pell Angela. Ayite Nade de Comfort. Asanti Sikatiwa Ama. Asumpungu Robert. Bedia Conteria Benedicta. Benyin Franklin Abe Kusiao Boahin Opare Benedicta Boatin Ayim Prince Boatin Sandy Edunya Veronica Ezwa Abigail Equia Fukuo Princess Kwatin Koji Michael Vivantus Joe Asari Aaron Jr. Pashi Elizabeth Tekpeki Labaran Samira Merku Lawrence Asante Moti Akofa Nadute Esther Teteki Nkrumah Jimaima Odura Obeng Samuel Opoku Ofei Seth Kwabna Otre Amabio Opare Jojet and your nam. Owusu Sandra Brefi. Owusu Evelyn. Poma Eje Equia. Sam Fifi Ebenezer. Techi Kelvin. Tete Beatrice. Tete Ebenezer Shiate. Yabua Frida. Zakari Musili Yatu. Second class lower division. Ado Daniel Impere. Ajemai Sandra. Ampedu Valerie. Asamwa Dabora. Boateng Kweku. Kumi Mebel Uchiyama. 
La Bivera, Laie Benedicta, Owusu Desmond, Sapon Mami Enchiwa, Sapon Marilyn Owusuwa, Wete Sandra, College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bachelor of Laws, First Class, Ofori Debra na 90 Wanang Martin Second class upper division Ajaoto Israel Aje Michael Sapon Akaime Udochuku Faustina Ayete Sonia Ikuma Bedia Kun Joseph Robe poku ekia nyakun. Dankwa efie jewa. Dixon Marie Stella. Uforia tama ame ekia inima. Okerenti Iche Princess. Sam Samuel. Yabe Matthew Charles. Second class lower division. Asamwa mensa nana echa. College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, First Class. Ababio Trovo Barbara. Abaite Imano Tete. Abayate Bright Tekpete. Abe Elvira Nayaboko. Abe Naomi. Abeyi e Kingsley Sapon. Abwaji Kumi akosi adoma uusua. Abro kwa princess. Ibuwa kwa Steven. Ichampon enkiwa hef ziba. Ichampon kojo osai asante. Ichampon kwa miapia. Akwala chesenanu Roland. Akwe Grace. Akonu Jesse Nathaniel Adai Bobu Ivan Ado Justice Parkwesi Ado Michael Ekufo Edinkra Joseph Eje Agnes Kurama Eje Ebenezer Kwejo Eje Hoffman Eje Safua Patience Adonte Seth Pepra Edu Candy, Edu Frida, Edu Gideon, Edu Portia, Edu Poku Joseph, Afo Stephen Jr., Afo Yvette Ajoa Asi, Efriye Wusu Solomon, Efriye Esther Penyinya, Agban Patricia Koko, Agbenye Fia Sefa Kofi, Agwanteba Chelsea Awonli. E Japan Caroline Ajoa. E Japan Deborah Kranchoa. E Jaakun Benes. E Jay Deborah Ebenezer. E Jay Inoko Reko. E Jay Huge. Ajemai Celestina. Ajemai Constance E Jay Fosuhima. Ajemai Frank Bafo. Ajemai Joseph. Ajemai Kwejo Edu. Ajemai Mbwatin Josephine Ohima. Ame Jebreo. Edu Isaac. Akins Kenneth. Akakpo Kaleb. Akpoho Cynthia. Ekwia Mwa Ogesta Abenai Chan. Alhasan Salamatu. Alote Anan Dina na Adole. Ami he Paul Kofi. Emi Sadokas Ama. Amwa Yujin. Amofa Kofi. Amofa Emmanuel. Amo Kelvin Kojo. Amo Melvin Kojo. Ampem Sali. 
and Ponsa Edward, and Abba Celestina, and Dr. Gloria Ramecha, and Jessica Yurenchua, and Nimo Pon Felix, and Krana Okaile Stacy, and Kuma Samuel, and O Godfrey Tete, and O Kwesi Kwache, and San Emmanuel Boafo, and San Juliana Boama, and San Krang Ernest, and San Buduba Abena, and San Mame Yamirikua, and Sue Samuel, and Tile Tiebuzi Thomas, Entry Bernard Kwache, Entry Hilary Deborah, Entry Mary, Enum Gideon, Apiu Abai Bono Williams, Apau Yao Michael, Apiejay Atta Simon Jr., Apiejay Atta Simon Sr., Api Antiwa Bridget, Api Apprentice in Tim, Ahen Mamie Fuakusi, Ama Emmanuel, Asamoa Christabel, Asamoa Joanna, Asante Josephine Tieku, Asante Kelvin, Asari Eric Opong, Asari Nicholas Kofi Osei, Asumeni Yvonne Dansoa, Esuyako Ruth, Atiku Walter, Atisu Lord Kelvin Kofi, Atobra Francis Kwame, Ata Junior Edward, Awudu Pfizer, Ayepa Prince Kweku, Azameti Erasmus, Azure Martin Akelibona, Ba Andi Dakon, Ba Fomesa Bwahima Nana Efia, Bandoma Emmanuel, Banini Newton, Baton Barikisu, Beyuo Alexander, Brigan Isaac, Buedu Benjamin Yao, Boahin Edna Uswa, Boachi Yadom Christopel, Boachi Evans Kwesi, Boampon Sam Benjamina, Boateng Ejewa Rachel, Boateng Bedu Emmanuel, Boateng John Ajenim, Boateng Vanessa, Boy Som Glenn, Boche Jonathan Eche, Boche Joshua Achu, Boadong Ko Danakweku, Boabeng Samson, Kariu Latif, Kobina Benjamin, Kofi Imano Salasi, Date Tadios Memala, Dazi Derek Andy, Dazi Kakraba Susana, Dagadud Ennis Elom Kwami, Dankwa Steven, Dankwa Elizabeth, Danso Paula, Dakon Steven, Dachomo Felix, Debran Pomanya Meche, Denchira Asomeni Simon, Dentu Bridget Mame, Dixon Stephanie Grace, Jangma Abigail, Jangma Alan Nene, Dofo Edwin Bano Jr., Dogu Frida Mwinibe, Donko Solomon Ya Ofosu, Dubuire Yasmin Wusulu, Dugbe Francis, Dumfe Marian, Jumo Daniel Ata, Jebre Jennifer Nutifafa, Jokbata Evans, Enin Charles Akon, Ewudi Michael, Ewusi Vivacious, Fawson Papayao, 
for Suben and Kofi. From Pong Bless AJ. From Pong Francis Kasegwa. From Pong Giving Praise. From Pong Godfred. From Pong Ofori Amam for Emmanuel. From Pong We Afi Gifty. Back for Prince Achu. Beja William. Gordon Emmanuel. Grant Emmanuel Benjamin. Jabin Edwin Ba. Jessie Nimaku Rosemond. Hagan Ephraim Ebo. Hamon Eroni Ayikwe. Haiti Henrita. Hope Edwin Kakari. Ibrahim Yusif Ali. Isaac Ibrahim. Jalo Alasana. Jafet Matilda Sefako. Kaiko Ama Comfort. Kankan Patricia Buedu. Kasimpu Chieka. Klu Melissa Esenam. Begba Silas Apielete. Krakui Frederica Emanuela. Kum Samuel. Kuma Bright. Kusua Sebastian Toreyile. Kwajo Mabel Fafali. Kofi Anna Amanla. Labi Benjamin. Mantifi Bisrekubia. Mafo Ama Sabia. Mafo Benes Amejewa. Mensa Adomakon. Mensa Ami Benedicta. Mensa Enestato. Mensa Opoku Kingsford. Mensa Presla. Mohamed Farid Wunam. Myers Wen Joel Nia Kwei. Na Wintis Imano Fela. Nelson Denisia. Ni Makoda Bora. Norte Alex Osei. Into Kelvin Danson. In TSL Jeffrey. Nu Nu Craze Daniel. Nu Chukpo Sechim Fortune. Nyakun Rahel. Obeng Datima Pel. Ofori Ekia Sewa. Ofori Amount for Padmo. Ofori Hana. Ofori Onassis. Ofori Techi Michelle Emanuela. Ofosuji Abo Jonita. Okra Kubenes and Sabia. Oparena Nakwesi from Pong. Opoku Buafo Gideon. Opoku Cypran Kese. Opon Che Emanuela. Opon Kelvin Ofori. Osei Bonsu Gladys. Osei Rose Akoto. Osei Eje Rabna Ajewa. Osman Abu Bakari Sadiq. Otu Kweku Frederick. Owusu Ansa Tracy. Owusu Boateng Barrel. Owusu Ado Michael. Owusu Eric. Owusu Felix. Owusu Juliet. Owusu Dankwa Celestina Frances. Owusu Ansa Boahima Abena. Owusu Ansa Felix. Owusu Banahini Kwejo. Pebi Maud Abena. Poku Abigail. Pra Joanna, Kwashi Esther, Saki Bright, Sakbaku Elisha, Sechi Portia, Salif Williasu Tendana, Sam Ben Chififi, Sam Tu Elom Yao, Sando Lawena Pua, Safu Emmanuel Adjini, Sapon Besmak, Sechi Francis. Seripina Gloria Jalisa. Smith Sharon. Sorinye Angela. Sowa Ariben. Tando Samuel Kobinakwa. Terry Adabora Nache. Taylor Albert Andrew. Tete Kezia Akoko. Tete Sylvia Akwele. 
Tai Victoria, Tom Senkwate Margaret Esi, Tijani Mustafa Farida, Titus Glover Nanan Shira, Chega Dalake Kelly, Chumesi Kingsley, Chumesi Tedlin, Wilson William John, Yabua Alfred, Yabua Dominic, Yabua Gilbert Apreku, Yurenchi Esther, Second Class Upper Division, Abe Biodom Fe An, Abe Justina Kwele, Abdullah Sharif Dean, Abdul Rashid Yusif Hamid, Abe Ye Kingsley Senior Sapon, Abe Yomere Flora, Abwaji David Odro, a champion Yunus Pinaman, a champion Kwame Sakodie, Aqua Abigail, Aqua Justice Myers, Adam Ali Nazifa, Adams Peter, Adai Safo Dixon, AJ Ekia Sapoma, AJ Sally Efia, AJ Shadrach. AJ Mensah Brian Ajumai Ajete Daniel AJ Adongo Ayini Clement Edu Jemfina Napoku Edu Juliet Trewa Edu AJ Nathaniel Afeji Stella Afrane Abebi Okwejo Afropon Isaac Amo Agbe Mafu Courage Agbe Mehia Andrew Agbesi Wisdom Agbo Kelvin Mawunyo Ejapon Eugenia Ejapon Thandi Ejare Nana Owusu Eje Abigail Pokuya Ajumai Boache Nanama Ajumai Efriye Ruth Ajumai Presola Boatema Ajim Bon Supadmon Ahia bo Adam Esel. Ahia konu Claudia Salasi. Eidu Michelle ya efumwa. Akese Felicia ama. Akoto Ansa Esther. Akoto efua poma. Akpakushi akushika Seram. Amankwa David. Amano Jeffrey Tete. Amwa Emanuela Laura. Amo a Mavis Cornelia. Amo a friend Paul Mary. Amo a Efia Petra. Amo da Akon Jennifer. Amo da Akon Jessica. Ampa ama akuma. Ampo for a guest in Yakum. Ampo on Sacrestville's new bean. Ampo on Safran Poma Abigail. Ampo on Sananako Siasewa. Amponsa Princess Obenewa Ango Rachel Beth Ankuma Belinda Owusuwa Anan Wohamina Da Akua Ansa Edna Ansa Emmanuel Echampon Ansa Felix Ansa Ivy Osei Ansa John Nanakwesi Anto Snitra Tufo Entry appear Ileno Enum Abdul Rauf Enum Roda Enyan Humphrey Apia Bridget Apia Danso Emmanuel Apia Kwabia Christabel Apia Michelle Apreku Job Ahin Augustus Arthur Comfort Arthur Kelvin Ayi Daniel Ayi Jacqueline Na Kokoi Asamwa Abna Ohima Adowa Asamwa Jessica Efriye Asante Japon Derek Asante Clement Asari Asamwa Edward Asari Eunice Asari Gloria from Poma Asari Reynard from Pong Asari Samuel Jr. Asem Bless 
Asenso Emmanuel. Asi Fuqua Pon Tracy. Asuma Aman Konab Mirabel. Atakra Mensa Ajua Konama. Awuku Irene. Ayasu Francis Kofi. Ayesu Ernest. Azaglo Anthony Mashao. Ba Mary Krantema. Ba Raphael. Ba Ewa Andrews. Baba Joseph Sananka. Bedu Efia Cindy. Ba Flo Patricia Tekpeki. Batalira Paul. Bempa Kofi Augustine. Benchi Encho Yoku. Belson Esther. Black Bar Ruben. Ble Buhonu Lava Mefa. Blue Tea Goodness Maufemo. Bwachi Esuya Ma Jennifer. Buedu Christian Tabi. Buahin Janet Chinewa. Buahin Jeffrey Edu. Buahin Seth in Tiri. Bwachi Ansan Richmond. Bwachi Elvis Tebri. Bwachi Emmanuel Afram. Bwachi Gideon. Bwachi Owusu Edu Say Evans. Bwachi Roy. Bwama Ebenezer. Bwama Nancy Wiafe. Bwampon Gifty. Bwatima Agnes Ama. Bonnie Elizabeth. Boche Leroy Boche. Brantio Achena Bennett. Brew William Akon. Bronnie Kelvin. Kofi Solomon. Kujo Sylvester. Dazi Sarah. Dagui Robert. Dakuji Naomi. Dankwa Benedicta. Denchi Derek. Dankwa E. Malen. Danso Angela AJ. Danso Mesa Benedicta. Dakun Yala Tibia. Dapo Obed Mama. Deborah Francis. Donko Daniela Efua. Doce Nunya Celestine. Duodu Mante Michael. Jomeku Ernest Dinkra. Igan Jojo Emisa. Engman Daniela Lomotele. Esel George Michael. Eya John Fifi. Furiwa Presla. Fosun Tiwa Nanefua. Fosukune du Gifti. Frempon Kenneth. Gambo Madina. Gavemiria Makofa Akosia. Gazali Abdul Basit. Bate Bridget. Grant Asufi Ezekiel Z. Graves Smith Caroline. James e. Prince. Jesse Jonathan Nanakwame. Jesse Wa Ama. Jeche Salome Kranchua. Haliga Edric Senior. Haruna Aziz. Heme Intiamwa Owusuwa Nanaya. Hodanu Imano Kwame. Jose Lucinda. Ibrahim Hamdia. Kakari Lovia. Karim Edmond. Kent Mesa Charles Jr. Koku Ronald. Kunedu Jeff. Kumsin Gifti Latibia. Kranche Ohime Derek. Kuletin Silas Michael. Kumakwe Kukaleb. Kumalenda. Kumedro Christabel Safako. Kwache Peo Fusua. Kwati Njimfua Esther. Kwati Emmanuel Fami. Tremantin William. Treme Godman. Lamte Laureen Aurora. Labi Edumia Abigail. Mango Te Nancy Maku. Menu Date Kingsley. Makadalate Emmanuel Nunya. Meisu Richard. Men Suspendi Lavnaki. Mika Abate Chua. Minta Louise Kuku. Nami Olivia. 
na nasa mood lisanda na winkom gloria na te edmond saba ni mo kelvin inketia poshia kosia inketia gideon boache nkruma gilbert nkruma samuel nunu thomas felix Intia mwa Steven. Na mecha Deborah Sumje. Na mecha kwa binabu aje. Na mesem David. Na kon Leticia. Obin esi edu Richard. Obin Catherine. Obin Daniela. Obin Eugenia Apia. Obin Daniela. Obo Arthur Mathias Nketia. Oklu Gloria. Okran Vera Odoi Marilyn Nabole Odro Gifty Odro Mary Ofori Elizabeth Adufua Ofori Samuel Ofori wa Emma Ekwia Kluche Ofosu Hinesa wa Abigail Ogbojo Robert Tete Otre Daniel Kwejo Opoku Boateng Fred Opoku Kunedu Jimaima Opoku Ophelia Opoku Ruben Ejei Opoku Enchi Mabel Antoinette Osei Apeo Jessica White Osei Emmanuel Osei Fred Osem Amwaku Vivian Otre Nana Kofi Owusu Efriye Darling Owusu Buahin Bernard Owusu Alfred Owusu Asumedu Enoch Owusu Jacob Boache Owusu Mabel Moore Polly Kwesi Pugun Irinius Kwenu Bashirudin Kwame John Kwashi Sandra Yemole Ramos Kofi Gabriel Robertson Imano Asari Saki Hubert Saki Irene Saki Prince Jerome Safu Edu Daniel Jr. Sechi Beatrice Cherry Sam Samuel Sapon Max or Safro Safu Edu Stanley Sahene Michael Efriye Sakode Esi Edu Fedora Sapon Yvonne Jumo Sapon Jessica Nana Skek Grace Abasewa Sefa Godwin Francis Senaya Sedemson Silas Setoglo Edward Etonam Staff Laura Tego Na Ache Lucy Techi Marian Abna Techina Nekia Techi Petra Techi Prisla Maki Tete Mary Adukuo Thompson Love Togbe V. Messi Chumesi Michael Ray Dumilicent Wusu Samuel Yale Francesca Yamwa Evans Yabua Ama Amponsa Yabua Isaac Kojo Yabua Ivan Kwabena Yabua Lawrence Kojo Yabua Mavis Echa Yabua Millicent Asabia Yabua Samuel Kwame Second Class Lower Division Abu Yahaya Sadia Akon Emmanuel Adai Kasi Osei Edu Asamwa Denzel Edu Kukobie Sonia Afare Justin Ajemai Fredria Lili Ajemai Eric Ajemai Sandra Ampon Joseph Enim Samo Asante Apia Kubi Benedicta Asamwa Gideon Asari Amankwa Jasmine 
a young bag Gloria. Aza Ebenezer Taiwayo. Beko Frank. Boateng Emilia. Bote Ingrid Alabi. Daniels Kakraba Linda. Dankwa Abigail Ejabeng. Dawood Helmut Majid. Dawood Hemish. Fakad Jim Fiangela. Kumija and Sandra. Trema Che Sabina. Lase Yvonne and Yoko. Nkansa Jeu. Ofori Kweku Benjamin. Opoku Nana Kosia Amwa Kwa. Owusu Prince. Owusu Ado Thomas Lane. Safo Elliot Kojo. Tamia Elizabeth. Pass. Our graduates are the latest batch of KNUSC alumni. I hereby call on the president of KNUSC chapter of the Global Alumni Association, Professor Caleb Frimpong, to administer the alumni oath. Please, when I say I, you also say I and add your name to it. Then you continue to say the rest of the statement after me. I, graduate of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumase, do hereby solemnly declare my membership in the KNUST Alumni Association and voluntarily pledge to abide by its aims and tenets I pledge to dedicate my loyalty and commitment to the development of KNUST and to the services of the KNUST Alumni Association wherever and whenever needed. So help me God. We've come to the end of this colorful 56th congregation ceremony of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. I respectfully invite the chairman of the governing council to dissolve the assembly. By the powers conferred on me as chairman of the governing council of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, I, Ambassador Nana Ifa Apinti, declare this assembly duly dissolved. I invite Reverend Father Dr. Anthony Na, our Catholic chaplain, to say the closing prayer. Let us pray. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. O Lord, our God, our help in ages past, our hope for the years to come, our shelter in stormy winds. We thank you for a successful and inspiring graduation ceremony in which your daughters and sons have officially been acknowledged for their respective qualifications. As a university and one big family, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, celebrating 70 years of existence and global impact together with your sons and daughters who have graduated in this ceremony, we say thank you for how far you have brought them on the journey of serious academic work and for crowning their effort with success. You have seen them through all the difficulties and challenges of academic life, and they have come out successfully. You have opened a new stage in their lives to go out and put into practice all that they have learned. We pray you to grant them all the necessary graces they need to make good use of every opportunity you grant them. May we all be true and proud ambassadors of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Be the Alpha and Omega of their lives. Go before them and behind them, beneath them and beside them. Be above them and keep all of them safe forever. Deliver them from the snares of the evil one. Keep them safe from every distraction and disappointment. Be their shield in every present danger and discouragement their consolation in times of difficulty and all forms of challenges. Grant them good health, sound mind and body. 
May they enjoy the freedom and peace of mind and heart to pursue the vision and the purpose for which they have graduated today. We pray you, O Lord, to open doors and grant them job and work opportunities. Grant them the willpower and the desire to make a difference and impact the lives of their community. May they realize the dream for which they embarked on this academic journey and enjoy the fruits of their labor as they make positive impact on humanity. We pray for their parents, families, guidance, friends, benefactors, and sponsors. Bless the work of their hands, and may they continue to experience your blessings and loving care in their lives. Lord, we pray you, bless all of us who have witnessed this graduation ceremony this day. Be above us to bless us, beneath us to secure us, beside us to shield us, behind us to protect us, and ahead of us to lead us through our lives. And may we forever praise and thank you for your innumerable blessings in our lives. We make all these prayers to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Dreams. Didn't we all start with that one dream? Many aspirations, some infeasible to redeem. We started on bare grounds and soon we were faced with mountains. When we got to the foot of the mountain, some couldn't climb up. Many fell. Through the sleepless nights, heartbreaks, and even hunger, giving up was an easy option, but we had a dream. Jin Chekan remained our focus and finally today, we emerged victorious. The wait is over. No more.